Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do some fun, quick, and simple crafting. Stay tuned. So for those of you who have just stopped by to check out what the channel is all about, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything but a few minutes of your time, and I can guarantee you that it is going to be worth it. On this channel, we do some of the most amazing crafts that you'll find on YouTube, and we do it without relying on machines. That's right, we do most of it with our hands. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and join my wonderful online crafting family. And as y'all know, we are still doing Christmas in July and today is no different. We are going to make some of the cutest gift card holders that you have ever seen. First of all, the colors are just so vibrant and they scream Merry Christmas. I'll open this one so that you can see just what we have. So when you open it, it really is a little wallet book because you've got a lot going on. Here we have two pockets right here. Then we've got this little mini envelope that is perfect for holding that gift card. Then we have a slot here that we can tuck a greeting into and you can tuck it right in there. Then on this side, you can stick in whatever you want. I've got another journaling card. Then I have a tag. You can put all types of little goodies in this little portfolio. It really is sweet and it makes such a great presentation. I mean, look at how cute that is. So we're going to make this and then we're going to make this awesome envelope for holding this sweet little wallet. So I have number two right here. And this is how the inside of number two looks. So here's number one, and here's my number two gift card holder wallet. And it's just as cute as the first one. So we are going to make our own envelope. I'm not going to rely on the envelope punch board. We're gonna go through the process of making the envelope so that we can put our sweet little gift card on the inside, or you can tuck some cash, whatever it is that you want to do. So I am going to set these to the side and I am going to show you the envelope really quick. I am closing mine with the magnet because I didn't have any tiny Velcro dots, but you could actually use Velcro on these in place of a magnet and just save your magnets for another project down the road. But this is just a great and fun little way. If you're giving this as a gift, tuck it down inside of this sweet envelope and make it the total set. So y'all know what, let's make it. So here is what we're going to need to make our project. We need a piece of paper, cardstock, whatever it is you want to use that measures four by four and a half. Then we need a piece for the envelope that measures six by four and three quarters. Then I have an inside liner piece that measures eight and three quarters by four and three quarters. So guys, we are going to have two pieces of 12 inch paper, one piece cut at 12 by six, and our second piece is going to be cut at um, 12 by five. So we are going to start with a 12 by five inch piece, and on the 12 inch side, we are going to score this at one and a half, and we'll turn it to the opposite 12 inch side and score at one and a half. And then we are going to fold and burnish those scores. And that is what becomes our pockets. So once we have it like this, all we need to do is take it and fold it in half. You can put it in your scoreboard if you want to I am simply going to fold mine in half 
just like that. And now we have the basis for the wallet. On the inside, we are going to take our piece that measures four and three quarters by eight and three quarters, and we're going to place that down on the inside. So the way that I'm doing mine is I am going to take my tape runner, run some tape all over this. You could put double stick tape down. I wouldn't use glue for this because it might just be a little bit too heavy. And now once we have it covered, I am simply going to take this piece and place it down on the inside. And I'll use my spatula to get everything stuck down. And I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Now, before I glue my pockets down, I am going to fold this and go ahead and get everything nice and creased. And I want to make sure that there is no bubbling or warping on the inside. And now that there isn't, I am going to bring in my reptile glue. Very simple. I am going to come to the edge of this little pocket flap, place some glue, and bring that up. And we'll get it stuck. And it's just amazing how when you use contrasting papers, but they all have colors that work together, just how well that pops. I love how this looks and I don't know about you guys, but when I look at this paper, for some reason, it just reminds me of Dr. Seuss and how the Grinch stole Christmas. So I am just going to get this stuck. So now we have our little jacket completed and I have a scrap piece of leftover cardstock. And to that, I am going to mount this sweet piece of ephemera and use it on the front. So I am just going to go ahead, place my tape on this ephemera. I'm going to get it stuck to this. And then I'll use my finger blade and I'm just going to cut straight across so that I have this sweet little cover for this one. And I think that when I put this one down and I am going to put this one down with some glue because I've got that double thickness there so no warping will occur. I am going to place that one down at a slight angle and isn't that fun and you see how easy that was to make so now on the inside easy peasy time guys so we're going to take this piece that we cut at four by four and a half and place it in the pocket but before I do I want to give it just a little bit of a topper so I am going to take this little candy cane paper that came in uh, on my sticker sheet. And I am going to just add some tape runner to that. Take these candy canes. I almost put them on upside down. And I am just going to place them down just like that. And I'll remove my excess. And now I have a sweet little card that I can place on the inside and use that to write my greeting or whatever else it is I might want to write down. So then I am going to take some little pieces of tag ephemera, place it down on this side, and now you can see that we have a really sweet way of saying Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is you want to say when you make these. It'll all be determined by the type of paper that you use. So remember, any season, any reason, any gender. So I am going to just set these to the side. 
Okay guys, so now we're going to make the small envelope that will go on the inside and we'll use that to hold the gift card or cash, whatever it is you want to put in it. So I have my piece that measures six by four and three quarters. I am going to bring in my scoreboard and on the four and three quarter inch side, we are going to score this at half an inch rotate it to the opposite four and three quarter inch side and score this at half an inch. Then we're going to turn it to the six inch side and we're going to score this at two and at four and a half. So now we need to fold and burnish all of our scores. And the two inch side is the side that's going to come up just like this. So I am going to take my finger blade and we are going to remove these two end panels all together. And when you remove them, we are going to angle in slightly when we cut it. So we're going to take our, let me just use my pen real quick. Here's my score mark here. So when you start cutting, angle in just a little bit. Doesn't have to be a deep angle, but we are going for a little bit of an angle there. So I'm going to cut that. And then I'll angle this piece as well, just like that. And I'll do this piece and I'll angle here. And then where we have our score mark here, we are going to angle cut on both sides of that. So we're going to cut out a V just like that. And now that we have this, we are going to take our glue, place some glue at the very top, these two here, fold them over and let's get those stuck down. And then we're going to fold these over, but no glue. And we'll bring that up and glue it down. So we are simply going to place our glue on the edge of that bottom piece that we angled in. We're going to fold it up until it meets that piece. And we will get it stuck down. And that is a very quick and easy way to make a little envelope for a gift card. So I am going to let that one dry before we try putting anything in it. And while we're waiting on that to dry, we're going to go ahead and make the large envelope. So to make the large envelope, we need our paper that measures six by 12. On the 12 inch side, we're going to score this at two and at seven and a half. And then we'll rotate to the six inch side and we're going to score at half an inch. Rotate it to the opposite six and score at half an inch. So then we are going to fold and burnish all of our scores. And we're making this in the same way that we made the smaller envelope. Okay, so once you have your scores folded and burnished, this smaller flap here is the bottom. So we are going to remove these two side panels and at the same time that we're removing them, we are going to angle in here at the bottom and then we'll angle there. So it'll look like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. So we're going to angle in and then we will angle up here. Then we'll come to the top, this fold here, and we are going to angle on both sides of that fold to get a V. Rotate it and do the same thing 
over here. So now that we have this, we are going to go ahead and take our glue at the top and we're going to place our glue on these two side panels, get them folded. Now you could actually, if you wanted to, you could place some paper on the inside here to line it, but I'm not going to do that because I don't think it needs it. So here we are going to take our glue, place it on the edge of this, bring it up just like that and get it stuck down. And you want to make sure that these side pieces here are not glued to the base, otherwise your card is not going to go in. So there, I'm not going to add another magnet to this, but this is where you would place your magnet here and your magnet on the inside. Or if you're lucky enough to have some Velcro dots, this is perfect for that because you can place one here and one here. Or you can simply make yourself a really cute belly band and bring it across the front. So now we can bring in the sweet little card holder that I made to go on the inside. I've already trimmed out one of the pieces of ephemera that says, for you, and I am going to put this down with just a little bit of glue. And so now I can take this, and because I really am going for the cute here, I don't want to just take this and place it down. I want to take this so that when you open this up, this really is a focal point of your card. So I am going to take mine, place some glue right there on the back, and then just put it in just like that. So when whoever gets this card, they are going to have this really fun dimensional gift card wallet inside of a card. And don't you think that that is such fun when you look at it, just the cuteness of it. So now we can take this and we are going to put it inside of our custom envelope and we can close it. And however you choose to latch it is totally up to you. Belly band, Velcro dots, magnets, ribbon, twine, however you choose to do it, completely up to you. There is no wrong way in whatever it is you choose to close yours with. So I am going to bring the others back in because we really need to check out all of this cuteness and all of this goodness. Oh my word, aren't these just stinking cute and oh so festive? Yes, they really are. So guys, I hope that this has given you an idea on how to make some really fun and different gift card wallets, gift card holders, whatever you want to call them. Make them for any season, any reason, any gender. There is no reason to go to the store and buy a gift card or an envelope because you can make your own. So I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day, happy crafting, and we'll chat later, bye.